Good day, it's Mike from Flex Radio, and today I want to talk you through updating your major version of Smart SDR. As an example, this may be from going from version 1 to version 2 or version 1 to version 3. The fixes are cumulative, which means you do not have to put interim uh, maintenance on. You can just run any of those versions you want as long as you're licensed. Now, if you're moving from version 1 or version 2 up to version 3, and you do not have a license for version 3, then you will be asked to pay. And we'll go through that process in a minute. And then the other thing is, how do we check? So there's a couple of different ways, but let's, uh, let's go to the website. And the first thing you want to do is go to Support, go to Downloads, and you will get a directory listing of files. You scroll down with your mouse, and under here, under version 3, we've dropped down uh, the uh, installer and release notes. And we're going to download uh, version uh, 3027. Uh, that's the uh, most current version. And that'll come down to my desktop. It comes down pretty quickly if you have fast internet. And then once it's downloaded and your antivirus checks it, we're going to start it. There's no need to run it as an administrator. Uh, it works quite well. And one of the things right after you start it, and I can't record it on my screen, it will ask you if you really want to do this. So I have it here. I can just double click on it. We'll get rid of the browser here because we don't require it anymore. And we were currently at 251 because you can see that in the icons here. It has the version number, which is really handy. So uh, we're going to hit run. Uh, and then it will pop up, uh, Windows will pop up with a user account control message uh, asking if you want to do that. Uh, you will have to accept, say yes. Accept the agreement. Please uh, read the license agreement. It's uh, rather critical. It's uh, You're agreeing to a, actually a legal document. It's only a few words. It won't take you very long. Uh, and then hit next. You'll see that this will install, uh, we're using 3027, into its own directory. So this is like installing a whole new program. And like I mentioned uh, pr before, you do not have to uninstall previous versions to install a current version. I'm going to hit next and uh, hit next and then a number of things are going to happen uh, some of which may show up in the screen and some may not uh, they'll be just off to the edge it happens reasonably quickly uh, but don't worry too much about it but eventually if you look on your desktop you're going to find three whole new icons and they'll say 3027 in this case or 3. Dot whatever version you're installing but what is key is you need to you need to pay attention to these icons now that I'm, I'm installing 3, I'll probably never use 2 anymore. I'm going to delete these off my desktop. See these little arrows? They means they're shortcuts. They're just sort of like bookmarks. You can delete them. You're not deleting the program. And there are ways to find uh, the program in the uh, Windows um, main menu uh, if you ever want to run it again. I like a little bit cleaner desktop, so I can just hit delete, and they're gone. Uh, you're welcome to look at the release notes and the change log. Uh, the release notes were also available prior to downloading. Those will tell you what features have been added and what maintenance has been applied. So I'm going to unclick those for now. We hit finish, and then you'll get a pop-up. We call this the radio chooser for Smart SDR. So do I really need to go buy a license? Well, that's a good question. If I hold my mouse over here, we'll see that it pops up with the second line, and it says Maximum Licensed Version, Version 2. And it stays there for about five seconds, so you sort of have to go back to it. If you uh, want to keep this information somewhere, you can just right-click on that and hit Copy Radio Info to Clipboard. That will put that into your Windows Clipboard, and you can uh, keep it for safekeeping. Or if you have to file uh, a support case, uh, please paste that in there. Incredibly helpful. All right, so now we're back to this, and I'm going to hit Update. This will take a few moments. So I'll pause the video while it updates, and then we can come back to the next screen. There is one thing I want to mention, though. If you're running an M model, that have a look at it right now and see if it says uh, the end user agreements on the front panel. You may have to hit agree on that, and uh, you'll see it when you look at it. It's uh, the same user agreement we saw earlier. So once it is completed, because I was only at version 2, I'm required to buy my license. Now, a little caveat here. If, you're, uh, if you already have a version 3 license and you, uh, you know that and um, because of um, you bought it after October uh, 1st, 2018, drop us an email and let us know and we'll look into that as well. But you can also get this message if your radio has never been plugged into the internet. And you may want to watch my video on networking. If you're someone who has 
your radio, you've uh, never hooked it up to your router or your modem, or the LAN cable from the back of the radio is only correct connected directly to your computer, it is possible to see this message. And I'm going to um, I'm going to mention that again in a few minutes. So well, I'll need to go buy version three, and then that's going to take me to the store. And uh, let's bring that over here so you can see it. Uh, this is version three. I'm going to proceed to checkout. And I'll have to enter all my own information. This is the only way to buy version 3. And uh, you will continue on like any uh, online purchase. And you can fill that all out. And then once that's done, we will be ready to move forward with um, uh, upgrading to version 3. Which is like any other upgrade. But this is the uh, the buy bar part. And yes, it is $199. Uh, some countries in the, the EU are required to uh, charge VAT tax. We do remit that back to them, and uh, the store is very accurate about uh, assessing taxes where required. So shortly after you pay for your version 3 or version whatever upgrade, the licensing serving process is all automatic, so it shouldn't take more than 3 or 4 minutes. If after about 10 minutes uh, you still see that your max license is version 2, there is a refresh button that is right here. Uh, just uh, click it and see if it solves the problem and it goes away. If it does not, as I mentioned earlier, you do need to make sure your radio is plugged into the internet or has internet access. One of the key ways to do that is if you hover your mouse over here and this IP address here where mine says 192.168.113, if those three digits start with 169, then we have a networking issue that you'll need to resolve. And that probably means that your radio is plugged directly into a laptop or a computer, and that the laptop or computer is connected to Wi-Fi to the Internet. Uh, that will cause the licensing upgrade to fail, so be aware of that. If you own an M model, have a look at the front panel display. Hit the Info button. And we'll see now that it says max version is license is three, which is great. And again, uh, so we'll clear that and we're going to say operate. And when it comes up to operate, we're going to have this next step we have to do. We upgraded to 3027. We're going to go there. We're going to hit run. And uh, 3027 is going to have to install. This can take a moment or two. And once the radio has finished updating the front panel, you'll see that you can access the radio and use it normally. You're now welcome, you're now on version three, and just to check, we can press the menu button, and uh, we can see the station name, that's an editable field, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, our software version is now 3.027, and the radio serial number, and then all the normal features. And if you haven't uh, seen this before, make sure you have a look at TX band settings. Uh, it's a great way to, to uh, control power and whether your amplifiers are keyed, uh, on very specific bands. Pretty powerful tool. Uh, that's new. And then the other thing is MultiFlex down here, which is the multiple user interface, and that'll allow you to see who's connected. And as an example here, I'm going to go back over to um, my desktop and uh, start Smart SDR. Uh, we'll uh, connect to it. Uh, you can see it here, and then we're going to go connect. And we'll see we're online there. And now we have two operators on, and we can see the same thing on um, the desktop. We'll bring that in there. We see both operators. So thanks for listening. That's uh, a version upgrade from uh, major version upgrade uh, talk through. So I hope you'll find that useful. <laughs>